Hey guys, so we have our A line set up already. It's completely flushed through, um, and we're ready to zero it out on the Phillips monitor. So, here on the Phillips monitor, we have our pressure cable that we've already plugged in, and it's going to signal to you. Um, that the, mo the monitor is ready for a pressure reading. This is just a demo. Typically what's gonna come up is a flat line and you can change the name of the line. We wanna make sure that the name of the line is arterial, which it is, that's great. Um, in order to zero it out, we have to connect the cable from the Phillips monitor to the tail at the end of the transducer from our A-line setup and it just clicks in like that. Once we're ready to zero it out, we're going to zero it to an area where there's no pressure. So I call it, um, so we're gonna zero it to air. So we're gonna flip our stopcock up towards, it's going to be off towards our patient, which is at the end of the line. We're going to open our cap like this. We're going to pull our tab so that fluid flushes through. And then at this point, we're going to head over to our monitor, click the screen, hit zero arterial line. At this point on the monitor, you will see a flat line with a number in parentheses that will say zero. At that point, our line is able to be connected to our patient. We replace our cap. We open the stopcock back up to the port. And at this point, you will see once the line is connected to our patient, wherever the insertion site of the arterial line is, you will be able to see an arterial waveform with a diacritic notch um, that is appropriate for the blood pressure, showing a systolic wave and a diastolic wave.